So the tray flip lip originally came about around this time last year. I was skating at Elliot Sloan's ramp a bunch, skating the mini mega and he had the rail set up. I did kick flip back board on it a couple times. Brack and I were just talking about like a trick I wanted to film for the stoop house video that I wanted to put in the end and tray flip lip kind of just came to our mind. Yeah, so Siege uh, has done a lot of tray flips over the Mini Mega. He like had that trick pretty, pretty dialed in. Um, so he was just thinking about like other variations of that he could do. I wanted to do like tray flip 50 for some reason. And I tried that and I like ended up in tray flip lip on accident. And then it kind of just went from there and Brock and I went back. He told me one day, he's like, Brock, I, I think I could, I think I could maybe tray flip lip it. And I was like, damn, like, like, I think you could, dude. And I started actually trying the tray flip lip. I didn't think it was gonna work at all. I was scared I was gonna like sack the rail or like that the board wasn't gonna flip enough. I wasn't gonna be able to get up and over the rail. And I just couldn't flip it to my feet and get on the rail. It would like flip all weird. I'd be floating over the rail with like my feet spread over it like I was gonna sack. Did that a bunch of times. Didn't really feel like it was gonna work. I don't know, it was solo session. Just me and Brock out there is grinding one day. Filming mega ramp can be treacherous sometimes, especially fisheye. You're filming someone who's moving like 20 miles an hour through the air. The board's flying everywhere. You never know where it's gonna go. I actually had a really close call with that uh, at Bob's now that I think about it. I can put that clip in there. Uh, I almost got decapitated by the board. It just went right over my head. What made it, what made it hard too was the fact that like on Elliot's ramp, he has the first gap in the quarter pipe, which is what a normal mega mini mega is. But to even get to the rail, you have to do a full mega, hit the gap, land the quarter, and then set up for the rail after, which is tough because you're going so fast and you're scared about the first jump and the quarter. So you got to work all that out. And then you have to get up to this rail. And when you're down on the bottom of the launch ramp, like looking up at it, it's huge. The rail is probably like six feet above the above the gap maybe? What do you think, Brock? Uh, yeah, it's like head high. Yeah, it's like head high. So if you're standing on the gap looking at the rail, it's like right at your eyes or maybe even above. So when you're staring up at it from below the launch, it's it's huge. That rail's pretty buck. I don't, I don't, I don't touch that thing much. <laughs> yeah, I like done one flip trick into that rail. It took me like a week. Cut like a backflip off the rail swore my board was under my feet and it wasn't. Just like planted my feet on the rail and backflipped to my head. So yeah, like I said, I don't really mess with that rail much. When I was just flinging my board at it over and over and over again, not getting close, dark slide on some, almost sacking. So that trick too, like I'd been thinking about it for a long time because Elliot's rail has been there forever. And like I said, I was working on kickflip board, wanted to flick into some tricks, wanted to do something that hasn't been done on that rail. I know Bob has probably done it on his ramp, but I don't think at Elliott's it's ever been done, so I wanted to try it. Our video, we were like, had to finish it up pretty much. We had been filming for like two years without even really knowing we were filming for the Stoop House video. We were all just filming our own parts, but it was like getting to the point where it's like, we need to just put it out here or our clips are gonna be just old. I'm gonna be looking like I'm 13 in some of these clips. So we had to get it out. Yeah, I just had to get it done that day pretty much or else who knows if we would have gone back or if I would have even wanted to try again. I remember he got into one. One of them just flipped and he got into it. Oh, oh my God, like he, he's gonna do this. I just remember that one specific one. So I'm just sitting there making sure to get the best angle I can. You know, my hands are shaking, I'm getting a little bit nervous, you know. Oh, man. And then the one I did, I kind of just was like super over it, tired, skating by myself. Flipped one, it like landed on my feet right in board slide above the rail and I was like, uh oh, this could be it. And the one, I, I just remember I saw the board flip and I'm behind the camera trying to keep a straight face or trying to focus you because I'm like, like in the moment when you when someone does a trick like that, it's, it's really like, you know, you feel like you did it yourself almost when you're filming because you've been there for the battle. It locked in and just shing, like right off the end. I was like, there it is, tray flip lip. Oh, 
<laughs> there it is. And just like tapped the rail, came off and landed. And I still didn't even know I landed it. I like didn't know what was happening. Honestly, that was probably like my favorite trick I think I've ever, I've ever filmed. Whether it's on Elliot's or just in general, that clip just meant the most. It wasn't the biggest battle for me, but Brock and I got super hyped after. We rounded up all the boys, went over to Best Pizza, went out, had some drinks after, celebrated, because it was my last trick for the part. Video was almost done, had to get it out there. Boys sent tough, as they should, and as they always do. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite clips I've ever filmed. Someone doing a great battle to see. Yeah, that was probably my favorite thing I think I've ever filmed. I don't know if I'll be able to top it. Hopefully I can, but something about that trick just felt really good to, to get away from. A huge thanks to Elliot Sloan for always letting us come over there and film. It's a blessing. Something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid skating vert. Always looked up to Elliot. So thank you, Elliot. It means a lot. I know it means a lot to all the boys. Yeah, so I know Elliot has his own YouTube channel that he posts clips on. If you want to check that out, we'll throw his Instagram in there as well. Because he has some insane clips. He's out there all the time just going nuts on his ramp. So check that out too. Amazing skater, amazing friend. Once again, thank you. We love going over there and skating. <laughs>